Okay, so today we're looking at the Vauxhall Insignia, a common problem where when you try and overtake um, after a couple of seconds it drops the power back and goes into limp mode. Um, it's all down to, excuse the, um, excuse the shadows, it's all down to a boost pressure leak and it's very very common and it occurs on this pipe just down here which is, if you can see here, this is the um, our steering fluid just below that down there. The pipe looks like this and what it does is it runs down and you access the other end by pulling back the trim piece here and there's one you know, there is one Jubilee clip there. Now what's actually happening is the car sees a lack of boost or an unknown amount of boost so the MAF sensor is seeing a certain amount of flow in the engine is expecting to see that translated then to a normal oxygen sensor reader reading coming out and it isn't because obviously you're losing some boost on the way so it shuts down after three seconds of boosting and seeing the wrong pressures now to get this off it's quite tricky now I'll show you this pipe the tricky bit is to get this pipe off now what you do is you pull these spring clips back until they hook up here to come out but when the pipes on the car if you see this here focus God Almighty. Sorry. see this here you have to actually push the pipe up on the uh, on the fitting to make sure this drops down so it can actually come out so um, that's your main problem with this and also the other problem is is actually get to the second clip which is right round on the back of that it's really hard to get at your best bet is something like a piece of welding wire like that to hook down and hook it out right I'll get it out and I'll show you what it looks like when you're undoing this down here this spring clip down here what you'll need is you'll need a 7mm socket short stroke and also you need to undo it all the way because you see here see how it's actually got catch lips on it there you've got to actually sorry you've got to actually get those catch lips open enough to get the pipe to come off okay so the pipe comes out this way here's the old one they always split at the top here you can always tell you'll see oil running down it and you can actually put your finger through the crack because the cracks are always fairly chunky now a little comment you can as a temporary repair fix this with sticky tape but what you need to do is you need to make sure the sticky tape runs all the way up onto the silver ferrule here and you need to put a cable tie around it you'll then need to run quite a long way down um, but it is possible this has lasted a couple of weeks like this um, so it is possible to do it with sticky tape you do need quite a lot of it though because uh, the pressures involved here are quite high here's that um, jubilee clamp at the bottom so you see how you've got to like unhook it all the way and all the way around and then the new one that comes you will find that it's got it, you, it won't have this bottom elbow so when you're changing it so what you have to do and it's quite a good one this is actually still one click open but what you need to do is you have to get on that sideways like that squeeze it and then flick that up so that it releases it um, and then the new one just slides back up in but I'll show you that in a moment okay if you're going to reuse the clip that comes off it this one here what you need to do is you see these little crenellations here the new hose won't be quite as well made assuming you don't buy genuine as the old ones so you need to flatten out those crenellations there to give yourself a little bit more space on the hose a little bit more um, length on the hose clip if you still can't do it what you have to do the thing to do is to straighten the hose clip out and just tap it on a piece of metal all the way around so with a hammer tap it all the way around just to stretch it slightly because it only needs a tiny bit it's one of those hook over sorry it's one of those hook over jobbies so that's that so there you go all back together so just remember if you end up I think it's fault 2828 or 2882 or something if you end up with fault 2828 and a lack of you it goes into limp mode every time you try and overtake somebody um, most likely the common fault on this is the turbo pipe here 
you'll be able to literally feel the crack in it down here on the front or the back. Swap that out, you should be good to go.